So how did you choose metallurgy? Why do you think you are important than the other person? Other students they will say, uh, no, I, I think I'm better than a surveyor. I think I'm a better person than a miner. And then that's where now I draw and show them a curve and say, we are all important and this is where you fit in. And if you are not there, then we're not going to have our rings. We're not go, ha gonna have our earrings. This is where it starts. We have the geologist to say something is there. We have a surveyor to say this angle. We have a miner to dig it out. We have you as a metallurgist to process, to extract. Extraction metallurgy, that's how interesting it is. That's where you fit in. I'm Professor Mamu Oho Elizabeth Mahata. I'm heading the Department of Metallurgy at University of Johannesburg. And at Metallurgy, we offering two streams of metallurgy, two separate streams of metallurgy, where one is the Bachelor of Engineering Technology uh, in Extractive Metallurgy, and the second one is Bachelor of Engineering Technology in Physical Metallurgy. So both our programs are internationally recognized because we are accredited by Engineering Council of South Africa. The interesting question which often comes from the matriculants or the students is that what is metallurgy? How, how do we fit in into the field of engineering? In simple terms, you look at the rock. We, we explain from the rock that is being mined by the miners and say extractive metallurgy or the metallurgy as a whole is the art and the science and engineering fields that deals with extracting those minerals and the metals from the ore, which is the, the stone. And they process, they alloy and transform them in the goods as metallurgists. But specifically, to go into the extractive metallurgy, you, if you choose to enroll with us in extractive metallurgy, that's where you learn more about different methods, different processing, um, uh, different processes to extract these different minerals, different metals, because they are of different properties. You use different different methods, you use different processes to get the best out of the ore by removing the impurities. That is all about the extractive metallurgy. Extraction metallurgy at UJ, it's one of those unique programs because we specialize for three years for student to do extraction and concentrate on extraction metallurgy unlike other universities. A student will be able to be shaped and molded as extraction metallurgist. Extraction metallurgy is a study of process as well as the methods for extracting of metals from their natural mineral deposits. An example of how to extract the metals is in the following manner. It could be in mineral processing, which is the use of physical, where there will be a separation as well as the concentration. And there is as well hydrometallurgy, where is the use of chemical processes, where both water as well as the acid are used for separation of metals. And there is pyrometallurgy, where metals are separated at elevated temperatures as well as the electrometallurgy, where it is now the study of electrolytic reduction of molten metallic uh, compounds. The ore, which is uh, both your minerals and your waste, uh, they're coming from the mines. The extraction metallurgist, what they do is that they break and separate your valuable minerals from non-valuable minerals so that it can be processed and into a finished metallic uh, use for economic. Metallurgists, they work in concentrators as well as the smelters and refinery industries. There are big companies in South Africa like your Anglo Platinum, your Impala, your Xaro. That's where big companies that one can be able to be employed in them to, to further work in metallurgy. So the student uh, actually needs to be very good in terms of identification of 
problems and able to analyze those problems and solve them. Safety is one of the most priorities in this industry and this industry also is mostly male dominant so as a woman one needs to be really brave in terms of uh, standing in a male um, environment. Also be able to communicate as and this is always a team work in, in the working industry. So for an interested student or matriculant, uh, they have to have studied maths and science at matric and the minimum APS score is 30 with a level 5 in maths and level 5 in physics and level 4 in English. So both the streams have an extended year where the extended year is normally known as the bridging course. So when you choose to study Bachelor of Engineering Technology with us, uh, on extended year, you will be required to have Maths Level 4, Physics and English at Level 4. Hi, my name is Karo Mashilo. I am currently in my third year of Extraction Metallurgy at the University of Johannesburg. Uh, the reason why I chose this course is because I believe that in the current economy that we have, um, job security is very important. Um, I also believe that it is very important for women especially to take up as much space as we can in these predominantly male professions as well as to open them up more for more women to come in comfortably and work in them. Um, my experience with the course so far, I'd like to say it's extremely challenging but at the same time it's quite enjoyable because it, oh, there's a lot of room for growth and there's a lot of room for learning and every day, every week there's a new challenge and you know, it's, it's exciting. My name is Jonathan Vita and uh, I am currently studying my third year in Extraction Metallurgy here at the University of Johannesburg. Um, the reason why I chose this course is because the metallurgical industry is very broad and uh, the job opportunities are, are, really, are really good out there. So that's, uh, that's the reason why I chose it and uh, so far um, it's, it's really working well for me. I'm, I'm enjoying because I'm mostly interested in designing and in chemistry which are the things that I found here in this course. So I'm looking forward to having you enrolled with us in Extractive Metallurgy at University of Johannesburg. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.